Well, we got done shooting the Mini 14. This is the tactical. This is actually wooden stock. It's painted with the these uh, coated with these uh, dots. Pretty cool looking stuff. Uh, I noticed there's the brass is kicking out. It hit the side of this plate right here, which is normal. Uh, got a recoil pad, but rubber pad, but it's not really very good. I mean, it's not for recoil. It's just to fill in the stock from the wood, but it shoots. Uh, it doesn't recoil, as you well know, like like the ARs. Doesn't recoil much. You can take off this uh, flash suppressor, and there's a threaded end on there for you suppressor types. So anyway. This is the uh, model tactical Ruger Mini 14. The model number for this one's 5889. If you go to their site and just put in 5889, that'll bring this one up. It's got they got several models, really cool looking ones. I think one was had a pistol grip. Anyway, this weighs about 7.2 pounds. Overall length's about 37 inches. The barrel is uh, barely legal at 16.12 inches, and the pull on this back here is a uh, 13.62 inches. The suggested retail is $1,069. <clears throat> right now, you'd be lucky to find one for $1,069, so I'd buy it. It's really a fantastic weapon. It, I bear, I just put a little oil on the mechanism here. I did do a lot, and it uh, functioned perfectly with this Winchester ammo we have. Uh, Winchester is trying to keep up with you guys' demand on ammo, so when I Got my sample ammo from them. I didn't get that much ammo, so we had to kind of be able to shoot my normal 100, 200 rounds. But uh, in the AR I like to do about 500 rounds. Can't do that. I'm not using my own ammo, as you well would know why, because I may need it. Who knows? Anyway, um, this is a great little rifle. Shoots really good. It's set for scope. It comes with two mags, 20 round mags. It's got the, uh, the Ruger scope rings. Uh, it's lock, some little tools and, uh, to help on this, the, just the back sight. Uh, the ammo we're shooting is 55 grain. Regularly, basically, it's a Winchester military ball 55 grain because it was not uh, highly finished, polished. Uh, we, could, we were shooting up here to get into here. These were all the first few shots because the ammo will shoot low until we get out to a distance and it'll start climbing as well you guys know because of the velocity. These hell rounds here my wild, I couldn't help myself pull the trigger on them. See, just to see if this thing would jam up and it didn't. It ate everything I put in there. It's really a great rifle. It's uh, something I highly recommend. I've had one, some of these back in the old days. I think it was called the GB. It had a bayonet lug in it on it. Uh, but uh, this is a great gun. I highly recommend this, as I do a lot of Ruger guns, not all of them, but a lot of them. This is uh, very functional, very easy to load. Much The mag comes out like the AK mag does, so it's quicker to load than an AR once you get trained with it. So I would say check this out if you want a good 5.56. They also make this in the 7.62 by 3.9. Uh, which is, you know, is the AK round, but it's a 7.62 by 39 round. It's called a Mini 30. It'd be perfect for deer hunting. You get a five round mag and go out and hunt your deer with that. It's a very, very good round in the American made rounds with a hollow point or a soft point that Mini 30 would be. The 5.56, if we were shooting the 55 grain, wouldn't be really highly recommended for deer, but there's areas of the country you can shoot them with that. I would move up to the 72 grain. Uh, bullets for the 5.56 for deer. Anyway, check it out the article on the website. The more specs on this gun is on the website. Um, and you all stay safe out there and uh, stay healthy and be blessed.